Hey everybody, what's going on? Today I'm doing a video on the Lichtenberg machine, another video in the series, and this is going to be a basic rundown of actually using the machine. So to get started, this is what I just finished making, just messing around with this. And here's another blank piece of wood, which I'm gonna show you how to start creating things like this in a blank piece of wood for your Lichtenberg designs. So just to run it down for you first, I've got the machine, you guys have seen the build, but if not, take a look at that video, I'll show you how I built this. But here at the ends, we have pieces of copper that are for my contact points, and I have one on each end. And I'm using a solution which is made out of baking soda and water. And I will do some future experiments, or if you guys have questions about it, on the ratios. But right now, I just wanted to make sure I had plenty, so I did two heaping spoonfuls to one cup of water. That may be more than is needed, but that's just what I did for now, just so I can you know, start playing with this and see how it works. So we're gonna go ahead and run this through its paces and make something like this. So the way this machine is built, Obviously, it's got a power supply that's plugged in and it's powered on with this switch which can easily be shut off just by hitting the red toggle down and the voltage regulator is right here. The way that it symbolizes there isn't as accurate as when you're actually running energy through it. So we'll keep that in mind, light that's on, your high voltage warning. So that's the basic machine. Uh, take a look at the video if you want to see more in depth details on it. And if you follow this cord down, you'll see that I have a foot pedal switch. This foot pedal switch is to allow me to engage and disengage energizing these cables. So not only do I have the power on here, but it still doesn't activate these lines until I hit my foot pedal switch. With that said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the power all the way down. We're gonna apply some baking soda solution. Decided to go with the bigger board here and apply some solution. I do it all one time first and then I'll just hit spots as I'm going along here. All right, now that I've got the board so it's wanting to create a pattern this way so we're just following them I'm keeping the pedal engaged while it creates its pattern I've got the voltage is coming through about 56 volts right now on this pine board and I'm still letting it do its thing because you see it's still working its way through as long as you have movement, you just let it go. And the voltage is low enough that it's not creating really huge, deep grooves right now. If you turn the voltage up, you can obviously get that different effect. But I'm looking for this fine detail that's working its way through, as you can see. This one kind of did like a little loop around. letting it keep doing its thing. It's looking really good. Some wood works better than others. I tried this on another piece of wood and it wasn't doing this. But this one you can see it's really working its way through. It has a nice cool look to it. And it's just about where it's not going anywhere anymore. So... I'm gonna take it off here. All right, so now that actually worked out really nice. We can try another area. We'll see if this has got enough solution or if I need to add some. Like it's going to keep 
next. Well, not yet. And once it does, that's when we'll let off. Once it has a solid connection, there's no reason to keep it engaged. But it didn't quite connect. They kind of went their own way for a second. There it goes. Once you have that solid connection, then it's found a path directly to them and we want to change that up. So let's see what happens if we go right here. solution and we'll keep filling in the spaces that don't have anything so so I'm just gonna put some solution in right there and I know I'm gonna be working here next so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-set up a little bit more solution over here as well and I'm not worried about this side for now since I'm focusing on this side over here keeping the voltage the same it jumps out a little bit more because there's fresh solution on there, but that will settle down as that solution kind of drives a little bit. Okay, we got a connection. So when you have fresh solution, you see you get a deeper uh, contact, and now that it's starting to dry a little bit, it's not quite as bad. take it to the other side and let me show you if we turn up I won't add solution yet I'm just gonna turn this up so instead of there I'm gonna turn up the voltage and you can see the difference of how it goes through you'll get deeper patterns and thicker grooves and it goes quicker get further apart so that's with higher voltage so depending on what your ultimate end goal is so I'm running about 118 volts through the regulator right now to the transformer that's powering this and see these are further away so it's doing the little details now if I were to add a little bit of solution to help it go across the top, I'm just gonna lightly add just a little bit. Okay? And now, see the difference right away. We can go over here, like that. I'm gonna turn this voltage down a little bit. So now I'm at about 75 volts. And you can see it's kind of doing a little bit of both. It's doing a little bit of the design, but it's a little bit straighter than the other one was. A little bit faster. So each piece of wood is going to be a little different. And depending on the design you want, you'll be increasing or decreasing the amount of voltage and how much solution you have applied and how long you let that solution sit before you actually engage the electricity through it. So like right now, I can't get anything going on the same voltage that I was just using. So I'm gonna go ahead and take and get just a little bit of my baking soda solution. Put a little bit there. That's it, not a lot. And you can see now we've got activity. So let me know what things you want me to try in the future. I can continue doing a series of videos on this. Right now this is just a, a plain piece of pine board and it's baking soda solution 
and I'm showing you just the basics of changing the voltage a little bit and adding and letting the solution set the different results we get so you can see right now it's just kind of finding its way but not quite so if I want to add some solution to that I'm gonna try to leave it really really light on this one there we go now you can see immediately we get activity I like how that's flowing out right now it's making some designs there we go and we'll just work for another couple minutes and then we'll spray off this board so we don't smear around unless you're gonna go for like a dark look then you can smear it around because your uh, your final you finish on here like say if you're doing a dark stain you would clean it off and then with dark stain it's not gonna matter if you smear some of this this ash around on it but if you want a lighter color you're gonna want to spray it off first and not let them mix in with each other voltage is at 79 volts right now I didn't reapply the solution there so it's just kind of figuring its way I'm letting off the pedal to disengage while I move these and I'll put it again I have moved these while holding the pedal but it's not recommended to do that because it's just not safe make sure you guys are being safe if you've built this machine or you've got one you've already made before So let's say if I specifically want to get something right here, like it's um, it's important for my design, and even though it hasn't wanted to work before, I can sit here and just really make sure I connect. I'm gonna turn my voltage down, and then I'm just gonna bring it up real slowly till I get some engagement, like that. And I'm just gonna keep it really low. I'm encouraging it to only go through where I just put that solution. And that's how you can somewhat control where this is going to work with you at. Like that. And so you can do the same thing if you have a specific design that you're working on. And let's say that we need more activity right here because it's looking a little plain right here and then maybe on top of that too, we take these two little spots here and we'd only apply the solution right there, just encouraging to fill up this little space. I'm gonna turn my voltage way back down again. Okay, I'm engaged and I'm just gonna turn it up until I get some action, there we go. And I'm hoping that it will just take this path of where the solution is from one to the other. They're both active now. And I've got the voltage really low. It's at 25 volts through the transformer in here. And I'm just doing little patterns and designs and filling up that space like that. One more time. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this off and show you guys. I don't think we need to keep working on the same piece any longer. I just wanted you to see the general idea so I'm going to get a little bit of solution. Okay, voltage is down. I'm going to start turning it up. There we go. And we're just trying to fill in this space right here. That's it. So we can do that same methodology anywhere we want on this board to fill it up. You can see there could definitely be a use for some here. 
like these empty spots if you want it to be super full. But let me uh, take you here and let's rinse it off. I'm shut off my machine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spray this off. Now that we sprayed it off, you can see the grooves that the electricity actually puts inside the wood. So when you go back through and you do your finish work, this will definitely have some depth and some character and stand out. All right, I'm gonna come through and just dry this off a little bit. You can let it air dry, but I just kinda wanna show you the final look of this. So check it out. Now there's tons of different ways you can finish this. And in future videos, if you guys wanna see something like this from start to finish, let me know. We can try some different types of wood, you know, specialty woods, plywoods. We can try different types of finishes. But that's a quick first take on actually using the machine. It looks like it's working really well and, and there's lots to learn. We can try different solutions, different woods, but for now, I hope you guys found this interesting and informative. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video.